Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. You ask any black or so-called Hispanic what's the nationality, they don't know their nationality, all right? But as the brother was showing some curse, so we're going to show you, I want you to see and tell me who did this happen to, right? We're going to show you another curse. That's what talking about right now. He's talking about the curse. He's going to cut it too. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Read out. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand. Read it again. Sis, come closer. Come closer, sis. So we are going over, we are proving through the Bible who we are according to the Bible. Right? Read again. Read it from the top. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. All right? So he said... This is a curse. He said, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people. When you look at history, says, who did that happen to? In 1690, during the trials of life, the slave trade, when they brought us over here, who did that happen to? The Jews. He said the Jews, right? Right, so I see you know a little bit of history. So, yeah, we are the Jews. So, read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So he said, I sons and I daughter. Who is that people that our sons and daughter was given to? When we get over here, right, we have the conquistador, Christopher Columbus, right? So our sons and daughters were sold to who? To the so-called white man, right? Don't be oppressive. The so-called white man, what we were sold to the so-called white man. Read. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So says, when our sons and daughters was taken from us during the time of slavery, right? We didn't have no, it, we don't have any might to take um, to um, to get them back, right? We watch them taken from. We watch our sons and daughters taken from us. Right. We have no economic might. We have no political might. Right. We have, for example, Malcolm X tried to help us, right? Martin Luther King, but we didn't have any might. They all failed. Read. Right. And there should be no might in their hand. Bring it out. So there's no might in that, no might in our hand. If you look at us today, sis, we are we are the lowest and the lowest of society. We have nobody to help us. Teach. Right? We we if you look at our society, if you look at our street, our streets are filthy. Right? We're killing each other, we're right. selling drugs to each other. Right. right? This is not this is not how our holy people are supposed to react. Right. So these are the cause that came upon us. Right? Yeah. So I'm going to show you now, how did we get over here? It is written in the Bible. We came here on slave ship. Sis, do you know that that was in the Bible? Yeah. Yeah. That's how we get over here. Yeah, right? Yeah. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye should be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. Alright? So, sis, so how did we get over here? How did the so-called black get over here? By ship. By ship, right? That's right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So Moses is speaking to the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native American, right? He said the Lord's going to bring us into Egypt again. But since we know, based on the history, right, the children of Israel didn't go back into slavery again in Egypt, right? Because we walk out of Egypt, right? right? So he's saying he's going to bring us into Egypt again. So what is Egypt? So we're going to let the scripture explain what Egypt is, right? This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. All right, so sis, what is, what is Egypt is referring to in that scripture? So Egypt is synonymous, it's a synonymous for the house of bondage. Read it again. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. All right, so quote. Go back to 68. So when he said, 
I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. He is saying he's going to bring you into what? Slavery. Into slavery again. Yes. Absolutely. Who brought? Oh, who was brought over here on slavery and slave ships? Right, the so-called Jews, right? Which is the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native America, right? Right. By the way whereof I spent unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And the scripture said, we're not going to see it again. He's talking about our homeland. Sis, do you know what your homeland is? Your homeland is Jerusalem. That's, Look, that's right. your homeland. All right? And we're going to show you in the scripture. That's your homeland. Read okay? out. Because, sis, you have to understand that we don't know who we are. Right. In this no, society, we don't, we don't know, right? We don't know our nationality, we don't know where we're from, right? So we are oppressed people. So we have to come back and keep the Lord God such a coming. So I'm going to show you what is your homeland according to the Bible. Read. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. Read it out. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. What is our homeland? Jerusalem, is a, which is above, is free which is the mother of us all. So it says, Jerusalem is our homeland. So go back now to the book of um, um, 68. We go, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spent unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. So we're not gonna see our homeland anymore again, which is Jerusalem, right? Read. And there ye should be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. He said we're going to sell unto our enemies. Who are we sold to? Huh? The, the white man, right? And what does the scripture call him? Read it again. And there ye should be sold unto your enemies. Unto your enemies. Yes. All the other nations, sis, they are not our friends. They are our enemies, right? Your, your friend is not going to sell you no. enslaved. No, your no, friend is not going to do that, right? And your friend is not going to teach you the Bible correctly. Who up. taught us the Bible? Huh? Who taught us the Bible? The so-called white man, because remember, we couldn't yes. read or write, yes. right? So they yes. taught us the Bible. Yes. So you think the same people who had us in slavery, you think they're going to teach us the Bible? Yes. We were on auction block, Bring it up. right? Good. Auction block, and we were being sold yes. to our enemies. Who did that happen to? It happened to us, right? The Caribbean? I'm from the Caribbean. Yeah, we were sold. We were working in the plantation as well. Right? So this is our history here in the Bible. Alright? So I'm gonna show you another curse. Right? We're gonna show you the curse the We're gonna show you um, we're gonna show you how our name been changed. Because you ask anybody who they are today. How are you doing, sir? How are you doing today? Alright? Bring it out. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 37. Read it out. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Read it again from the top. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Stop. Sis, look at us today. For example, you're walking on the street, right? So a white man see um, a white lady may have a purse in her hand. And then a black person pad and she clinched her purse. Yes. And they look at us and they shake yes. our heads. Do Why? Why? Because we become an astonishment. Yes. Right? The men yes. are sagging their pants. Right? Look at all of our sisters with blonde hair, green hair. Jeez. Why is that? They don't love their real natural hair. Christ has woolly hair. The most I have woolly hair. But our people walking around like an astonishment. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Verse 37. Bring it out. And thou shall become an astonishment. Right? So we are an astonishment to the other nation. Yes. They look at us. They call us niggas, spicks, wet back. Right. We are an astonishment. Read. A proverb. A proverb. A proverb is a wise saying. For the say, for example, black people always late. Black people like chicken. Always. Right? Always. If they want to hide something from a black person, what does it say? Put it in a book. <laughs> right? <laughs> these are all the these are all the proverbs. It's a wise saying. That's right? These are all the stereotypes they put on our people. Yeah. Read. In a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Yeah, so we are among, anywhere you go in the world, we are scattered among all people. Yeah. Right? And they look at us the same way. Because this, they know that we are God's chosen people. Right. We are the ones that don't know. Okay, we have to come back again. 
come together. But well, what are we gonna come together as? And you remember we had a um, Farrakhan had a million mile march, right? Yes, sir. And we have all these people coming together yes. with all different faiths, right? This is not how the Lord wants us to come together. Because we are God chosen people. What do we have to come together under? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So the Bible says, what does the Lord thy God require of us? He required of us to keep his commandments. So sis, what day is today? What day is today? Day is Sabbath. I don't know, what's the day? All right, today is the Sabbath day. Sabbath day? The Sabbath day. What's the day? Sun, okay, so we have, we're gonna show you a law, right? We're going to show you a law. Today is a law? Go to the book of Exodus, uh, Exodus 20 and 8, I think. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Read it again. Listen, it says, it says, remember. remember. Why did you think it said remember? Because we forget. Hey, Absolutely. <laughs> Bruh. We forget. Hold on a second. We're teaching nationality who you are according to the Bible. All right? Just stay and listen. So he said, remember, right? The reason why we were lost, because why? We were sold into captivity, we were sold into slavery, into all nations. So he said, remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. To keep it holy, right? Because it's a law. We got to keep it holy. So how do we keep the Sabbath day holy? Read. Verse 9. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So you have six days, six days to do your work, to do your business, do whatever you got to do. The, the most I give you six days to do all of those things, right? Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. So if you want, this is one way to keep the Sabbath. You're not supposed to do any work on the Sabbath day. No cooking on the Sabbath day. All right. So we're gonna show you that because a lot of us, a lot of us cook for, 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 for the Christian church, right? The Christian church, they go to work. The Christian church have what? Keep the Sabbath on the what? The Sunday. Yeah. Who taught us that? Bring it Who up. Who taught us the Bible? The white man. The white man taught us the Bible. So now we coming back. We're reading our history and the laws of God. What are we supposed to do? We're not supposed to. Celebrate Sunday as the Sabbath day. Saturday oh, is the Sabbath. Alright? So read it. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land bring any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day, and that we would leave the seventh year in the exaction, exaction of every day. So when we were together, the children of Israel as a nation, we don't we don't buy on the Sabbath day, right? Sabbath day the the gate is closed, all right? It's the any virtual. It's the we're not That's supposed right. to we're not supposed to buy and sell on the Sabbath day. So, so you understand that, sis? Yeah, but we are the children of we are we are the children of Israel, right? We are the true Jews according to the Bible. We are holy people unto the Lord our God. So you know what? Give me Deuteronomy seven and six first. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 7, verse 6. Read it out. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right? So you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, you are the chosen people according to the Bible. You have to come back and keep the Lord's statutes and commandments. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. 
We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.